Welcome to the Echoes of Faith podcast on the Living Bible Hub Network, where we believe living for Jesus the Christ is easier than you think when you meditate on his word in small bite portions every day. I am your host, Sherry T., and this is the best day of your life because God is in control. We hope these few moments of Bible reading and prayer will empower you to have faith in God, inspire you to pray for your family, friends, and community, and live every day in fellowship with Jesus. Our affirmation for today is, we are excited, blessed, grateful, and most of all, we are believers for life. We believe in John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Father, we thank you for this is the day that you have given us. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. May the meditation of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable in your sight. You are our strength and our redeemer. Father, we thank you for healing our hearts and opening our blind eyes. Teach us your ways as we study your word. May the spirit of wisdom and revelation, counsel, power and might guide us into all truth and show us those things which shall come to pass. Today we put on the full armor of God that we might stand against the forces of evil. We walk by faith and not by sight. Be blessing and honor to the King who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. Father, we thank you for sending your Son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but would have eternal life. We thank you for Jesus and all that he has done for us. In his name we pray, the name that is above every name. All glory, power, and dominion belong to him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Eddie J. Let our community, the listening audience, know what's happening on Facebook with you. So every Friday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, end of the week word from the Peoria Friendship Missionary Baptist Church Facebook page or the Eddie Jackson Jr. page. Tune in. Our scripture reading is First Chronicles. Chapter 5. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, he was the firstborn, but when he defiled his father's marriage bed, his rights as firstborn were given to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel, so he could not be listed in the genealogical record in accordance with his birthright. And though Judah was the strongest of his brothers, and a ruler came from him, the rights of the firstborn belonged to Joseph. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok, Haldu, Hezron, and Carmi, the descendants of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog, his son, Shimei, his son, Micah, his son, Rhea, his son, Baal, his son, and Beera, his son, whom Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, took into exile. Beera was a leader of the Reubenites. Their relatives by clans, listed according to their genealogical records, Jeiel, the chief, Zechariah, and Bela, son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel. They settled in the area from Meroer to Nebo and baal Meon. To the east, they occupied the land up to the edge of the desert that extends to the Euphrates River, because their livestock had increased in Gilead. During Saul's reign, they waged war against the Hagrites, who were defeated at their hands. They occupied the dwellings of the Hagrites throughout the entire region east of Gilead. The Gadites lived next to them in Bashan, as far as Salica. Joel was the chief, Shapham the second, then Janai and Shaphat in Bashan. Their relatives by families were Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jachin, 
Ziah, and Eber, seven in all. These were the sons of Abihail, son of Huri, the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jado, the son of Buzz. Ahai, son of Abdiel, the son of Gunai, was head of their family. The Gadites lived in Gilead, in Bashan, and its outlying villages, and on all the pasture lands of Sharon as far as they extended. All these were entered in the genealogical records during the reigns of Jotham, king of Judah, and Jeroboam, king of Israel. The Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh had 44,760 men ready for military service, able-bodied men who could handle shield and sword, who could use a bow, and who were trained for battle. They waged war against the Hagrites, Jeter, Naphish, and Nodab. They were helped in fighting them, and God delivered the Hagrites and all their allies into their hands, because they cried out to him during the battle. He answered their prayers because they trusted in him. They seized the livestock of the Hagrites, 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep, and 2,000 donkeys. They also took 100,000 people captive, and many others fell slain, because the battle was God's, and they occupied the land until the exile. The people of the half-tribe of Manasseh were numerous. They settled in the land from Bashan to Baal Hermon, that is, to Sinar, Mount Hermon. These were the heads of their families, Ephur, Ishai, Eliel, Azrael, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel. They were brave warriors, famous men, and heads of their families. But they were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors and prostituted themselves to the gods of the peoples of the land whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pol, king of Assyria, that is, Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria, who took the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh into exile. He took them to Hela, Haber, Hera, and the river of Gozan, where they are to this day. Chapter 6 The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel. The children of Amram, Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar was the father of Phinehas, Phinehas the father of Abishua, Abishua the father of Bacchae, Bacchae the father of Uzziah, Uzai the father of Zerahiah, Zerahiah the father of Meraeth, Meraeth the father of Amariah, Amariah the father of Ahitub, Ahitub the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Ahimeaz, Ahimeaz the father of Azariah, Azariah the father of Johanan, Johanan the father of Azariah. It was he who served as priest in the temple Solomon built in Jerusalem. Azariah, the father of Amariah. Amariah, the father of Ahitub. Ahitub, the father of Zadok. Zadok, the father of Shalom. Shalom, the father of Hilkiah. Hilkiah, the father of Azariah. Azariah, the father of Saraiah. And Saraiah, the father of Jozadak. Jozadak was deported when the Lord sent Judah and Jerusalem into exile by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimei. The sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uzziel. The sons of Merari, Malai, and Mushai. These are the clans of the Levites listed according to their fathers. Of Gershon, Libni his son, Jahath his son, Zima his son, Joah his son, Ido his son, Zira his son, and Jeatharai his son. The descendants of Kohath, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Aser his son, Elkanah his son, Abiasaph his son, Aser his son, Tehath his son, Uriel his son, Aziah his son, and Shaul his son. The descendants of Elkanah, Amasai, Ahimoth, Elkanah his son, Zophai his son, Nahath his son, Eliab his son, Jeroam his son, Elkanah his son, and Samuel his son. The sons of Samuel, Joel the firstborn, and Abijah the second son. The descendants of Marari, Malai, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Uzzah his son, Shemiah his son, Haggaiah his son, and Isaiah his son. These are the men David put in charge of the music in the house of the Lord after the ark came to rest there. 
they ministered with music before the tabernacle, the tent of meeting, until Solomon built the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. They performed their duties according to the regulations laid down for them. Here are the men who served, together with their sons. From the Kohathites, Heman the musician, the son of Joel, the son of Samuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeroam, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahath, the son of Aser, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Heman's associate Asaph, who served at his right hand, Asaph, son of Berechiah, the son of Shimea, the son of Michael, the son of Baasiah, the son of Melchijah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zimah, the son of Shimei, the son of Jahath, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi, and from their associates the Merarites at his left hand, Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Malak, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzai, the son of Bani, the son of Shemer, the son of Malai, the son of Mushai, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their fellow Levites were assigned to all the other duties of the tabernacle, the house of God. But Aaron and his descendants were the ones who presented offerings on the altar of burnt offering and on the altar of incense, in connection with all that was done in the most holy place, making atonement for Israel in accordance with all that Moses the servant of God had commanded. These were the descendants of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Bacchai his son, Uzziah his son, Zerahiah his son, Moraith his son, Amariah his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, and Ahimeaz his son. These were the locations of their settlements allotted as their territory. They were assigned to the descendants of Aaron who were from the Kohathite clan, because the first lot was for them. They were given Hebron in Judah with its surrounding pasture lands, but the fields and villages around the city were given to Caleb son of Jephunneh. So the descendants of Aaron were given Hebron, a city of refuge, and Libna, Jatter, Eshtemoa, Hillen, Deber, Ashan, Jutta, and Beth Shemesh, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Benjamin they were given Gibeon, Geba, Alameth, and Anathoth, together with their pasture lands. The total number of towns distributed among the Kohathite clans came to thirteen. The rest of Kohath's descendants were allotted ten towns from the clans of half the tribe of Manasseh. The descendants of Gershon, clan by clan, were allotted thirteen towns from the tribes of Issachar, Asher, and Naphtali, and from the part of the tribe of Manasseh that is in Bashan. The descendants of Merari, clan by clan, were allotted twelve towns from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites gave the Levites these towns and their pasture lands. From the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, they allotted the previously named towns. Some of the Kohathite clans were given as their territory towns from the tribe of Ephraim. In the hill country of Ephraim they were given Shechem, a city of refuge, and Gezer, Jachmium, Beth Horon, Ijalon, and Gath Rimmon, together with their pasture lands. And from half the tribe of Manasseh the Israelites gave Aner and Biliam, together with their pasture lands, to the rest of the Kohathite clans. The Gershonites received the following. From the clan of the half-tribe of Manasseh, they received Golan in Bashan, and also Ashtaroth, together with their pasture lands. From the tribe of Issachar, they received Kedesh, Dabarath, Ramoth, and Anam, together with their pasture lands. From the tribe of Asher, they received Nashal, Abdon, Hakok, and Rehah, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Naphtali, they received Kedesh in Galilee, Hammon, and Kiriathaim, together with their pasture lands. The Merarites, the rest of the Levites, received the following. From the tribe of Zebulun, they received Jachmium, Karta, Ramona, and Tabor, together with their pasture lands. From the tribe of Reuben, across the Jordan east of Jericho, they received Bezer in the wilderness, Jaza, Kedemoth, and Mephaeth, together with their pasture lands. And from the tribe of Gad, they received Ramoth in Gilead, Mahanaim, Heshbon, and Jazer, together with their pasture lands. Chapter 7 The sons of Issachar, Tola, Hua, Jashub, and Shimron, four in all. The sons of Tola, Azai, Raphael, Jeriel, Jamai, 
Ibsam, and Samuel, heads of their families. During the reign of David, the descendants of Tola listed as fighting men in their genealogy numbered 22,600. The son of Uzai, Israhiah. The sons of Israhiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah. All five of them were chiefs. According to their family genealogy, they had 36,000 men ready for battle, for they had many wives and children. The relatives who were fighting men belonging to all the clans of Issachar, as listed in their genealogy, were 87,000 in all. Three sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beker, and Jediel. The sons of Bela, Esben, Azai, Aziel, Jeremoth, and Irai, heads of families, five in all. Their genealogical record listed 22,034 fighting men. The sons of Beker, Zamira, Joash, Eliezer, Elioenai, Amri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alamoth. All these were the sons of Beker. Their genealogical record listed the heads of families and 20,200 fighting men. The son of Jediel, Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan, Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kanaena, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahishahar. All these sons of Jediel were heads of families. There were 17,200 fighting men ready to go out to war. The Shapites and Hapites were the descendants of Ir, and the Hushites the descendants of Aher. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Gunai, Jezer, and Shilam, the descendants of Bilha. The descendants of Manasseh. Azrael was his descendant through his Aramean concubine. She gave birth to Maker, the father of Gilead. Maker took a wife from among the Hapites and Shapites. His sister's name was Maaka. Another descendant was named Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Maker's wife Maaka gave birth to a son and named him Pirish. His brother was named Shirish, and his sons were Ulam and Rakam. The son of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, son of Maker, the son of Manasseh. His sister Hamalekith gave birth to Ishhad, Abiezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahian, Shechem, Lichai, and Deniam. The descendants of Ephraim, Shuthala, Bered his son, Tehath his son, Eliada his son, Tehath his son, Zabad his son, and Shuthala his son. Ezer and Eliad were killed by the native-born men of Gath when they went down to seize their livestock. Their father Ephraim mourned for them many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. Then he made love to his wife again, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. He named him Bariah, because there had been misfortune in his family. His daughter was Shira, who built Lower and Upper Beth Horon, as well as Uzan Shira. Repha was his son, Reshef his son, Tila his son, Tehan his son, Laden his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. Their lands and settlements included Bethel and its surrounding villages, Naaran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, and Shechem and its villages all the way to Aya and its villages. Along the borders of Manasseh were Bethshan, Taanach, Megiddo, and Dor, together with their villages. The descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvai, and Bariah. Their sister was Sira. The sons of Bariah, Heber and Malchiel, who was the father of Berzea. Heber was the father of Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham, and of their sister Shua. The sons of Japhlet, Pesach, Bimhal, and Ashvath. These were Japhlet's sons. The sons of Shomer, Ahai, Roga, Hubba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam, Zopha, Imna, Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopha, Sua, Harnifer, Shul, Birai, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. The sons of Jether, Jephunneh, Pispa, and Era. The sons of Ulla, Era, Haniel, and Reziah. All these were descendants of Asher, heads of families, choice men, brave warriors, and outstanding leaders. The number of men ready for battle, as listed in their genealogy, was 26,000. Chapter 8 Benjamin was the father of Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second son, Ahera the third, 
Noah the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. The sons of Bela were Adar, Gera, Abihud, Abishua, Naaman, Ahoa, Gera, Shephuphan, and Huram. These were the descendants of Ehud, who were heads of families of those living in Geba, and were deported to Manahath. Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera, who deported them, and who was the father of Uzzah and Ahihud. Sons were born to Shehiram in Moab after he had divorced his wives Husham and Beera. By his wife Hodesh he had Jobab, Zibia, Misha, Malcolm, Jeaz, Sakaya, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of families. By Husham he had Abitub and Elpael. The sons of Elpael, Eber, Misham, Shemed, who built Ono and Lod with its surrounding villages, and Bariya and Shema who were heads of families of those living in Ajalon and who drove out the inhabitants of Gath. Ahio, Sheshak, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishpa, and Joah were the sons of Bariah. Zebediah, Mishulam, Izkai, Heber, Ishmarai, Izaliah, and Jobab were the sons of Elpael. Jacob, Zikri, Zabdi, Elienai, Zilathai, Eliel, Adea, Berea, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthathijah, Ifdia, and Penuel were the sons of Sheshak. Shamsharai, Sheariah, Athaliah, Jerishiah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jeroham. All these were heads of families chiefs as listed in their genealogy and they lived in Jerusalem. Jeiel the father of Gibeon lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maaka and his firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Geder, Ahio, Zeker and Mikloth, who was the father of Shimea. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul and Saul the father of Jonathan, Malchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan, Merabael, who was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Python, Melech, Teriah, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jehoiada. Jehoiada was the father of Alameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Binia, Rapha was his son, Eliasa his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names, Azrakam, Bokaru, Ishmael, Sheariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of his brother Eshek, Ulam his firstborn, Jeush the second son, and Eliphalet the third. The sons of Ulam were brave warriors who could handle the bow. They had many sons and grandsons, 150 in all. All these were the descendants of Benjamin. This concludes our scripture reading for today. May God bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Our God is faithful. The redeeming power of Jesus is working in our favor. Some trust in the created things, but we trust only in our creator. The redeeming power of Jesus still works. We have been forgiven of all our sins, healed of all our diseases, surrounded by grace and mercy. The redeeming power of Jesus still works. If we follow the instructions written in his word, then we will experience real peace because the redeeming power of Jesus still works. Jesus paid our debt in full, completed his work and said, it is finished. He ascended into heaven and sent the Holy Spirit to live in our hearts. Thank God for the redeeming power of Jesus still works. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Echoes of Faith podcast on the Living Bible Hub Network. Partner with us like, subscribe, support. Visit our website, livingbiblehub.com. Until next time, peace, love, and blessing.